Okay, so this is the Resident Evil Reverse Beta, the second beta. I'll explain a little bit about the characters and how it works. So basically, you pick a character, one of these humans. You got Chris, Jill, Leon, Claire, Ada, and Hunk. And basically try to kill each other. That's all you do. And you get points for doing certain actions. Um, they all have special skills that you can activate during the match. And they all have one passive skill. So... Here's all the different skills. Jill can play some landmines. She has a knife. Attack damage is temporarily boosted after dodging. So, like, everyone has their little, like, you know, tweaks and perks. Stuff like that. Claire, she can put an adrenaline shot and get a little bit more stamina and HP when you need it. And she has, like, a really great... <laughs> electronic like disabler thing makes the person stick there and then you can shoot them uh, also she has the quick draw army and if you do a dodge it'll automatically reload it um, Ada has got a pipe bomb arrow some are called somersault kick and uh, I haven't really played as her but hunk can be a uh, invisible and he has like a cool knife move that you can totally just kill somebody and if you kill someone while you're cloaked, you get to stay cloaked. So it's kind of like pushes you to be stealthy, I guess, in a way. So if you die in this game, you spawn as one of these bioweapons. And that depends on how many of these G-Virus capsules that you pick up during the match before you're dead. So if you don't get any, you spawn as this fat molded dude. And uh, he's actually pretty good, honestly. The trick is to use Enrage and get as much like momentum, momentum as you can and build it up and build it up and then you'd self-destruct because the longer you wait, the more powerful the self-destruct will be as far as I can tell. I used to just like self-destruct immediately so I could keep playing, but it makes you lose points when you do that. So try to use them if you, if you have them. If you're near people, use Enrage and then self-destruct later. Uh, the Hunter Gamma is pretty cool. He has Acid Spray. You can Tail Whip. Um, you can do these finishing moves like Devour to totally eat the person. But they have to be human. It doesn't work on monsters. Jack Baker, of course. He's got Welcome to the Family, son. That's his finishing move. If the person's weak enough, he'll grab them. There'll be a cool animation. Punch them out. Uh, he's got the Chainsaw Scissors, of course. Nemesis. Yeah, he's got the Rocket Launcher. Uh, he's got the tentacles and then super tyrant, which is my favorite. He has the dashing strike, which is a total finisher um, It'll totally kill a human like totally impale them and they'll die if you're you know if you line it up right and He can jump into a strike too as well as you know slash but Yeah So if you get none you turn into this fat molded if you get one you will be either a hunter gamma or a jack baker and if you get two before you die in the match you'll become nemesis or super tyrant so that's kind of how that works and you get points for doing certain actions in the game like getting revenge on someone that killed you you'll get more points if you take out one of the top three people you'll get more points that's kind of how the point system works so let's jump into a match just to show you how it works. I found that it it's really not too bad. Finding a match. It's hit or miss. But I mean we're still in the beta. And there's not that many people playing it right now. So hopefully more people would play it. As time goes on.
Okay, here we go. Easy peasy. All right. Let's get in a match here. I'll show you how to. I'll try to explain it as I go. Hey, we're playing with my friend Retro Brando. Let's go. Okay, so first off, what I like to do is immediately try to find these purple capsules so I can ensure I'll have a good uh, death. So I just use the shocking thing to immediately disable them. Make sure you dodge. Watch out. It's just, it's just madness, man, this game. But I need one more of those. Per I didn't even get that one. Oh, that sucks. Oh, I just got hit by mine. Let me heal. Uh, okay, we died. So we're going to be coming a fat molded. And there's Brando. We got him. Okay. So it kind of shows you every time. So you get to spawn again. Same idea. Check your surroundings. Look for the purples. There's one down there, but he's going to get it. But we'll take him out. I guess we'll take her out. Good. Let's just go for another purple, if we can. That didn't do anything for some reason. Don't ask me why. Sometimes it's just, you know, the hit detection's a little weird. Oh, we gotta get, mm, okay, here we go. Have some more. It's okay, we got one purple vial. We're all healed, that's good. It's a very quick kind of match thing, you know? Like, it doesn't last too long. That's good. I never stick around because the animation leaves them invincible for a minute. That's kind of how I go, baby. Stay healed. Wait for this thing to come back so we can take him out. He killed himself. These are power weapons you can get. There's Retro Brando. Oh, we're both becoming a monster at the same time. to get that good see that's a finishing blow and that instantly kills him but we got hit that's okay I'm on the top of the board see I think this method is really good there's a rocket launcher you can find certain like power-ups in the game if you're lucky enough just kind of luck based here's somebody Oh, you bitch. Well, that's okay. They're almost dead. We can take them out. Mm, they're obviously good. But we took them down. Because the power of the, uh, power of the fat boy. Power of the molded. Okay, we still have a chance to get some more points here before the match ends in 48 seconds. So grab these. Oh, let's grab this actually. Oh, let's grab both of these. Oh yeah, okay. We have a chance. Quick. Who is shooting at me? Your butt. Come 
Come back, Ada. Hey. Nice. Gotta go. Get that. Yes. Yes. Success. I think we got first place. I love to see this. Ah. <sighs> Cool. So that's basically how a match goes in Resident Evil Reverse. So if you like this, give it a like, give it a, give me a sub if you want to see more. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it kind of helped you understand the game. Uh, yeah, see you next time in the next video. Thank you. Bye.